Hey there, Patty Dominguez here, episode 129. Thanks for being here, hanging out with me today, checking out this episode so that you can position your business to profit even more, standing out like the authority you are, like the boss that you are. So every single week, I share a little something, whether it's a solo show like today or an interview with a fellow entrepreneur, it's always with the intention to help you to position your brand to profit. Remember, your message matters as always, and today is no different. I'm going to be sharing a little strategy that I've used. It's something that I created once, use it again and again and again, and if I am on a sales call where the person on the receiving end is feeling really good about the information that they're hearing, and they are almost there to the point where they say, yes, I'm in, I have a little tip over moment tip, something that you can show them that will inevitably tip them over. It works. In fact, dare I say, it's probably worked 100% of the time that I've used it. So that's my little secret of what I'm going to be sharing here with you today. And it's easy to do. You're going to love it. It's going to be something that you'll remember me every time and say, man, Petty was right. Petty just really killed it with this one tip. And If that's not enough curiosity peaking for you, uh, yes, stick with me because I'm going to share exactly the words that I use and the way that I parlay this entire process in a way that helps you tip over that prospect. Ready? All right, let's get on with the show. Here we go. Hey there, I'm Patty Dominguez. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. All right. Well, thanks for hanging with me today. I really appreciate it as always. And today is a solo show, like I mentioned, and this is going to be a quick show, but very powerful nonetheless. All right. Here's the scenario. Imagine this entire process of marketing now more than ever is even more challenging. Why? Because there's so many options out there. Think about the competition. It's pretty fierce, right? So, All of these things that we're doing to grow our business and all of the work that it really requires, there's a lot to be said for this whole preparation process. So what happens when somebody has maybe joined your email list or they found you on some kind of a challenge or, or a summit or they've engaged with a freebie that you had, whatever the case may be, people are are on your radar. So you sit there and you're like, okay, let me focus on this KLT process. No like and trust. In fact, I'm laughing because there's a um, dear client that called it KLT, like kale is in the vegetable, the leafy vegetable, KLT. It's not KLT, KL, it's K, the letter K, L, and then T. No like and trust. And so that no like and trust process is can be lengthy, right? The important thing here is if you get to the point when somebody is completely engaged with your content, with the value proposition, they have clarity that you can help them, they have an itch that you can scratch and they're like, okay, this is it. Let me jump on a call with Patty or with whomever, right? So here we are, we're on the call, we have a really positive conversation and You should be able to guide the conversation, the sales conversation. But what happens when the person on the line is feeling really good about everything that they're hearing and then they say, hey, do you have any testimonials or anything like that that you can show me? Yeah, for sure. So this one tip kept it really simple. I heard this, I promise you, I don't remember where I heard it, but it was so ninja when I heard it. I was like, oh my God, I am going to steal that. It is so good. So the gist of it is the question back to them is like, okay, well, how many testimonials would you want to see for you to be fully sure that I can help you or that the results that you're looking for are absolutely possible with my coaching? How many? How many testimonials? I don't know, two, three? 
okay perfect here and then you show them what i call a success page is basically just one pager it could be on your landing page uh software or it could be on your website whatever it may be it's basically a collection of successes here's what i mean you can have on this one page all the testimonials all of the screenshots of good comments that maybe either you or you can have your virtual assistant clip for you. So anytime that somebody makes a really great comment about you on social, you should be clipping those because that is gold. Anybody uh, who writes a testimonial or does a video testimonial is even better. The whole point of it is you can aggregate those, all of it, the screenshots, the written testimonials, the video testimonials, all of the stories, everything on one page. So it's this long form success page. And the cool thing about that is that it makes it look like, holy cow, this is amazing. It's all the accolades, all the shout outs, all the good things that you have helped that positions you as, listen, I'm an expert, I'm getting it done. So when you do that, it really becomes this tipping point for the person on the receiving end that's like, all right, this is good. Because people have felt good about engaging with you. They're connecting with you on an emotional level. They're resonating with you. And sometimes the logical brain is just looking for that last piece. And what if I told you that putting together something as simple as a success page is something that you maybe build once yeah you'll be adding to it etc but you build it once and you use it again and again so i highly recommend incorporating that into your toolbox either your sales toolbox or you can use that page it, as part of your funnel i've used it that i recall in my email sequences it's just a success page it's easy to do i believe everybody should have a success page we do remember that it's dynamic meaning always make a point to add to it whenever you can because it's a really powerful way to tip someone over when they are in that decision-making mode and they're in a space where they're almost there, they're almost ready to sign on the dotted line, so to speak, and they just need that final little piece. So have a success page, use that line. Hey, well, so how many testimonials would convince you that I can absolutely help you with the transformation that you're seeking or the results that you're seeking? How many testimonials would work? They'd be like, I don't know, two, three? Perfect, because here's my success page. Take a look, see, this is what I have helped other clients with and I can most definitely help you too, okay? So, super easy to do. Create your success page. In fact, if you do create it, let me know. Give me a shout out on social. I wanna hear about it. I wanna check out your success page. And if you need help with your success page, make sure to reach out. I'm happy to provide clarity. And as always, this is the kind of stuff that we work on. As I was having this conversation with a client of mine today, I was like, you need to do a success page. This, is, this will really help you. And it can be that tip over moment that somebody needs in order to engage with you further. Easy to do. Make sure to incorporate it for yourself. And there you go. That's my easy tip for this week. Take action. Do not delay because this will position you as an expert. And it is so simple to do. All right, that's what I have for you on this episode. Do remember that when you are ready to transform your business and be supported by a wonderful community of fellow mavens who are also creating their ripple effect in the world, check out prolificcafe.com, prolificcafe.com. As a matter of fact, if you want to check out my success page, you can go to positioningtoprofit.com forward slash success and check out my success page for yourself. All right, hope that helps. Hope you have a fantastic day. Remember, your message matters. So create that success page, continue to put yourself out there and reach out and let me know when you're ready for me to help you on your journey. All right, till next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out this episode of Positioning to Profit. Please leave a review if you have gained a benefit from this episode. I appreciate it greatly and I will give you a shout out on the show as well. I so appreciate the ratings and reviews. Okay, also for the positioning extravaganza, head over to positioningtoprofit.com. There's lots of goodies over there. It's a treasure chest of 
freebies as well as beautiful courses that will help you to establish your category of one and move your brand forward. And again, connect with me over on socials or on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm on the socials. So I hope to connect with you there and I look forward to catching up with you real soon.